As many in western New York stay inside during these dangerous conditions, firefighters from the state and across the globe are flocking up to Canada to the source of the problem. But some experts say that those efforts may not solve this problem for good. Two on your side's Andy Payton has that story tonight. As uncontrollable wildfires continue to burn across eastern Canada, tonight the effects of Mother Nature's rage beginning to be felt here in western New York, with hazy smoke clouds blanketing the sky above Buffalo, making the Peace Bridge virtually invisible even from just a few miles away. Not in my life did I think we'd really be dealing with this in Buffalo. Overnight, environmental officials issuing an air quality alert for the entire region, forcing local schools to cancel all outdoor activities, now shifting the focus for many to how to remedy this problem. These fires are, are getting to a point where they're affecting cities tremendously here in the U.S. What exactly can be done to put out these fires? Uh, wherever wildfire uh, occurs, there will be state agencies, there will be federal agencies that are immediately responding to it. Since the start of the apocalyptic like scenes in Canada, over 950 firefighters from around the world have been dispatched to provide aid in extinguishing the flames. With crews attacking on the ground, from the sky, and even with the fire itself, but the dilemma for those on the ground, according to wildfire expert Andrew Vandriot, is that rushing to getting things back to normal could possibly only be fueling the fire more down the road. The harder that we fight fire, the more risk we are at extreme wildfire behaviors. It's called the fire suppression paradox. The idea is that while putting out these flames now offers an immediate solution, it also leaves behind untouched shrubs and debris that could one day ignite larger fires creating a situation even worse than the one we're experiencing right now. We have people's homes, people's livelihoods um, and resources at risk in the present. And we're thinking about some distant future where, you know, maybe the accumulative effects of letting some of these wildfires burn um, would have some positive impact in the future. Now, another concern is that this is just the beginning of the wildfire season that this problem could persist through the summer months, but experts tell me that they're expecting in the meantime for it to improve locally by the weekend. Reporting live on the roof tonight, Andy Payton, Channel 2 News. Interesting report. Thank you, Andy.